Hey Kyle, this is Ryan with TrendLizard.com. Taking a look at FCX again. I know we've taken a look at this guy before. I think we looked at it back in March of 2016. And man, it's been an absolute stud since then. It had an awesome week last week, up 16.5%. So I'm sure you're pretty amped about this one. Hopefully you're in on it. But let's take a look again, starting back from the uh, beginning of its time, which was back in 1995. So it looks like... Um, a big trendy up move off the 2001 low into the 2008 high. Beautiful, nice, big trendy five wave advance. Since then, it reversed course, sold off, just absolutely tanked in what looks like a big counter trend move. So, the low in early 2016 at this moment looks pretty darn important, and I think you have to trade it as if it is to see how it develops from here. So, let's zoom in and see how it is developing. Uh, this takes a closer look at the, that decline off the 20. Uh, excuse me, 2008 high. It does look like a counter trend move. The decline in 2014 into the 2016 low looks like an ending trendy five wave move, which is a uh, a good sign. It may not sound like it if I say trendy, but normally we get a sharp little trendy decline at the end of a move. And it has really reversed just a V bottom, super sharp. Everything's looking bullish after that. Uh, it consolidated and then now it's breaking out again. So um, to make it absolutely certain and in the books that this is a counter trend move, it still needs to move above 25 to confirm that. Um, but hey, in the meantime, it looks like it's heading that way and this can absolutely be traded uh, as it heads on its way up. So let's zoom in on the 2016 advance here. Here it is. Uh, like I told you last time back in March, this was a beautiful trendy pattern. I think the last time we looked at it, it was trading at about 10 uh, since then, it's really developed nicely. It's trading at about 16 now, so it's increased about 60% since the last time I looked at it and recommended it to you. Um, it hasn't been just all uh, puppy dogs and flowers and all that stuff. After it hit a high in May, it moved sideways to lower for several months before really finding its way off the October low and kicking it into gear again uh, since then. So this absolutely looks bullish. Uh, looks like it's going to continue significantly higher. You can own this stock. Uh, unfortunately, the stop's not super close. It's probably not going to be when you see a stock nearly double over the course of just a few weeks. Um, so that's that's the difficulty, but you can place a stop at about 12 and trail it higher from there. It's possible that you're going to get a near-term pullback sometime soon, but even if we do, as long as it stays about 12, um, you could expect it to continue higher overall. So if you do own it, which I hope you do, uh, you should have your stop at 12 even though it's pretty loose. If you don't, um, you can buy it right away with the stop at 12 or you can try to wait for some type of near-term pullback to give you a better buying opportunity uh, as long, again, as it stays above 12. So overall, this guy looks amazing. It looks like it's going to continue much higher, so I definitely think this is a good buying opportunity for you, Kyle. So, hey, I hope that's helpful. I hope you're doing well. We'll talk to you again soon. Take care.